In today's video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite schemes to run in Madden NFL 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping you get better at Madden NFL 21 through offensive and defensive tips and tricks that we post on YouTube every single day at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. In today's video, we're breaking down the 3-4 bear defense. It's kind of be starting to become one of my favorite defenses to run in the game and because it's got the answers to a lot of different things. So today what we're going to do is we're going to show you a simple... Uh, pressure scheme that you can utilize from the 3-4 bear very very easy and also very very effective that always give you a plus one advantage at the quarterback all right guys so i'm going to show you a couple of different pressures today out of the 3-4 bear and to do this i'm going to come out in the shotgun bunch formation primarily because i think this might be the best defense for the shotgun bunch in madden nfl 21 so Basically, what we're going to do, our audibles are pinch dog three, cover two invert, cover three, and cover one hole. We're going to come out and pinch buck O every single play. Now, in my opinion, the best front to kind of work with from this is this front right here, where you basically have um, seven people on the line of scrimmage that could potentially get instant pressure at your quarterback. The next thing that you want to do is, obviously, we come out and we're already baseline, so we're going to unbase the line because we're playing a bunch deep bunch set just like this. The next thing we're going to do is basically just set up our pressure. And the first pressure I'm going to show you, I kind of already showed you this today or earlier on my channel. But basically, all we're going to do is we're going to crash our line out. That's literally it. And you're going to see here we're going to get basically instant pressure at the quarterback off the right edge. Now, what this is going to mean is they are going to basically have to block somebody. So I want to kind of show you what they're going to do to counter this um, in essence. One of the things they're going to do to counter this is they're going to basically block their running back. So here I'll show you if they if they block their running back, you see here the blitz is still going to be coming in right off the edge. 100% clean pressure at the quarterback. Now, real quick, before we go any further, if you want to pick up the full defensive scheme, you can pick up my defensive ebook in the link in the description of this video. That link is in the description. You can also text me for more Madden 21 pro tips and tricks. Uh, my number is 812-216-3644. Okay, so they're they're gonna they're not gonna be able to pick this up if they block the running back. So the next thing that they're gonna have to do is they're going to have to block their tight end, right? Which is what they don't want to do because if they block their tight end, then that's going to basically kind of ruin their 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 stuff. And as you see here, if they block their tight end, this is going to basically pick up the pressure. However, the beauty of this three four bear defense is you're always able to get yourself a plus one advantage. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to basically globally blitz all of our linebackers. We're going to crash our line out again. And then this time we're just going to drop that linebacker on the left side um, into a hard flat uh, zone. And then basically play, essentially we're going to take away that flat on the right with our user. Now what you're going to see is if they block their tight end, you're still going to get that plus one advantage. As you see here, I'm able to get that left edge pressure right off the quarterback, uh, right off that, that left side edge. So now what they're going to have to do is they're going to say, okay, well, you're getting left side pressure. And really quick, if you want to get this left side pressure just stock, it's actually very simple to do that. We're basically going to basically uh, turn this coverage into a Mabel on this side. So as you can see here, I'm only blitzing five people at the quarterback, right? But this is going to send left edge pressure. As you see here, the pressure is going to scream right off the left edge. You're going to get instant heat at the quarterback. The beauty of this is depending on what's which person they're blocking, for example, um, if they're blocking their their defensive, um, or not their defensive, but their tight end on this play, you're going to see that I'm always going to be able to be at a plus one advantage. So here I'm blocking the tight end. We're crashing the line out, snap of the ball. And as you can see here, they actually were able to pick up the pressure pretty nicely. But there's a little trick with the 3-4 bear that you can do that can actually help a little bit with the edge rush that you're going to get from this. And that's to basically crash your line out. Right, this is going to create kind of that nickel three three five uh, wide type of look here, and you know basically you're going to get a front that looks somewhat like this. And again, I'm going to block my tight end, and as you can see here, we're going to get instant a gap pressure at the quarterback. So now this kind of puts the offense in a dilemma because this look, you can send different pressures and you can always be doing kind of different things with your coverage. Obviously, that's one of the beauties of the 3-4 bear is I could simply run a something, a concept that's very simple, right? Something like this right here where I have a vert hook on this side. 
right? That's a pretty good bunch defense on that, on that side of the field. And then I could do something like this and basically turn this into cover two on the left side. Now, because of this coverage right here, what you're going to see is I'm actually going to be able to be pretty stout against pretty much anything that they're going to try to do. And I just need to make sure they're aware that I am going back at the snap of the ball. So as soon as the ball is snapped, I'm going to take the middle of the field over. So those are some different things as far as the coverage scheme that can go. Now, the best part about this defense is, again, it always gives you a plus one advantage as your quarterback. So let's say that you're doing something like this, right? This is the pinch buck O. And just to clarify here, we're blitzing three men from the right side of the screen. We're only blitzing two men from the, the right side and three men from the left side. And then obviously our user and our nose guard. So this is going to be a little bit different of the pressure. But I just want to show you kind of what kind of pressure this is going to uh, is going to get at the quarterback. Right here you see they're able to pick us up, but we're actually able to get instant block sheds at the quarterback. The one thing that you have to understand when you run a blitz like this is I think crashing the line out is going to significantly help the pressure. You're going to see here when I crash my line out, I'm able to get instant pressure off that right edge. I'm actually able to get two people free um, when I do that. So again, when they go to max protect, what, I, what that's going to basically mean is now I'm sending heavy pressure off of both edges. And my job at the snap of the ball is simply to run straight down. If I run straight down, you see this blitz still comes in against Max Protect. Now, one thing that I want to clarify, and I just want to show you uh, in instant replay kind of how this works and what this means for your defense. When I say you're always going to have a plus one advantage, you're going to see here that I am blitzing. If you can count, count the box here, you're going to notice that I'm blitzing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm blitzing seven people. Okay. I'm blitzing seven people at seven blockers and I'm still getting one free. So it means I still have my user and I still have my man coverage assignment out there as well. So when you're setting this blitz up, one of the, one of the little uh, tricks that I like to do is I like to take this, this right side backer that would normally be manned up um, the, the safety. I like to make sure that he's manned up on the slot. Okay, and then I'm going to take this linebacker on the right and I'm going to man him up on um, I'm going to man him up on the 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 tight end here. Right. So you're going to see a look that looks just like this. OK, this is kind of the basic look. And as you can see here, this blitz is set up. And then from there, you're going to see that against max protection, I have a pretty good chance at coming completely free and untouched at the quarterback. The trick with this is to basically hover in the A gap. At the snap of the ball, you see here this simple hover trick that works super, super, super well, in my opinion. Um, you're going to see basically what I'm doing, again, is I'm simply hovering. I'm going to basically at the snap of the ball, I'm going to run down. And I know from experience that this, that I want to run and cut to the right at the snap of the ball. Basically run, cut to the open gap. And as you can see there, we're going to get super, super, super fast pressure at the quarterback. So then what I can do is I can kind of play some chess based off the routes that I know that they're going to use to be able to beat me. And that's where the fun of this defense comes in. For example, you could go to something like this right here. This is pinch dog three. It looks exactly the same as you can see. And when you make some adjustments here, you'll see it even looks even more so the same. And uh, what I can do from this is essentially play max coverage, right? So I could play something like this and you'll see that now what I have on my field is I have this. And we've all seen a coverage like this, and we've all had trouble with coverage like this. This is basically cover three Mabel, right? But I have cover two on one side and cover three on the other side. But basically, we're going to be in max uh, coverage. And obviously, this looks exactly the same. But as you can see here, you're going to get really, really good sheds at your quarterback, and you're going to be able to basically um, kind of lock them up. Now, how would you do this from man coverage? That's a really good question. So there's a bunch of options as far as how you could do it from man. But what I like to do is use this cover one hole. And the primary reason is because of who it has in the zones. And to be quite honest with you, all we're going to do is we're simply going to drop a purple zone on the left side of the field. And we're going to drop a purple zone on the right side of the field and basically blitz two people. All right. And I know it's not necessarily the greatest uh, two people in the world to blitz. And if you wanted to, you could, um, you know, you could basically reman them all up, especially against bunch, because you're going to have time to basically do that oftentimes. But the one issue with that is you're still going to be kind of running into the same uh, basic issue. You know, I mean, you're, you're going to get something like this, which this is not going to be, you know, super. And they're going to be able to get the flat out. So that's just something you have to be aware of. But the option is there to basically blitz two 
and I want to do that occasionally. Now, at a 3-4 bear, I actually don't like to blitz too very often. And another way that you could set this defense up is actually from this play right here. And the reason why I would suggest setting it up from this play right here is what you're going to notice is I can put my little middle linebacker in the deep blue here on this uh, backside, and then I could basically run the max coverage with something like this right here and get those edge protectors, or not those edge protectors, but those double or nothings or those edge uh, edge threats that I might have an ultimate team working really, really well to get that pressure at the defense. So you see here, you're going to get good sheds, and basically you're going to force them to have to, um, you know, everybody's going to be manned up, so they're going to have to have man beaters, right? Um, another thing that you're going to run into with this is people are going to realize that you can only play cover one effectively. So they're going to try to take advantage of you with some of their different um, tools and sh and and things they have at their disposal. Well, the beauty of this defense is that you can play multiple different types of coverages. So for example, uh, I could play cover one on the left side here, but then I could basically turn this into cover two. As you can see here, I can put my safety in a deep half and then es essentially I'm playing cover two and then all I've got to worry about as a user is I just have to worry about the right side stuff. So my snap of the ball, I'm going to run back, make sure nothing's over on this side. I've got the other side pretty much taken care of. And as you can see, you know, it's going to be basically slim pickings for them as far as who's going to be open and where they're going to be open. So, and you're going to be able to get coverage sacks and do some really, really good damage to the offense. So this is a little mini scheme out of three, four bear. I'm undefeated in weekend league right now. I just finished up. Um, when I was running through four bear, I went completely undefeated with it. I think it could actually be a really, really good defense. One of the things that I would recommend is making sure that you have, um, some type of like under pressure ability on your outside guys, because we know they're going to be coming free. And if we can affect the accuracy of the quarterback, it's actually going to make a huge, huge difference in the way your offense plays. So if you have the ability to control this and mutt, I would put double or nothing on your outside guys. And I would also put, um, uh, under pressure. If you don't, want to put double or nothing on it i understand you could just go with 200 pressures and then basically have a uh, lurker on your user and then you could have four uh, acrobats as well across your your defense so those are some different options uh with this defense but i think this defense is really really effective one of the things that i actually am interested to try out and i don't know if you guys already know this but you could also uh, put out my way on those outside guys and really lock down the stretch and the outside run. So that's another little tool um, in the tool belt that you could do from this. I think this actually has fairly decent run defense, especially um, when you use this mechanic right here. I think this mechanic, you're going to see this mechanic take over a lot of defenses. Standing right here gives you a lot of flexibility on the defensive side of the ball. So that's a little bit about 3-4 Bear. If you want to get the entire scheme, including a bunch of A-gap pressures, run defenses, and more from this ebook, um, all you got to do is shoot me a text message or just pick the link up in the description. My number is 812-216-3644. Shoot me a text. Let me know you'd like to pick it up, and I'll shoot you the link where you can uh, where you can check out. So thank you guys so much for your time. I really enjoyed talking with you. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you in our next video. Remember, we upload videos at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time every single day right here on our YouTube channel. Thanks, guys.